hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use a lucid chart for creating uml or unified modeling language let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in lucid chart i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Using Lucid Chart for creating UML or Unified Modeling Language diagrams is efficient and user friendly due to its specialized shape libraries and templates. Now, once you are logged into your Lucid Chart account, I want you to hover to the new button wherein you can start from a blank document. Or you can start from a template wherein all we have to do is go to the search bar and type in UML and press enter and you have all of these UML template ready made for you to save time all right you can choose from UML class sequence diagram use case diagram you have all these all right you want to make sure to escape the premium because the premium template requires premium subscription plan you would notice that I am using the free plan, so you're going to be able to require to subscribe to the premium plan. But for now, we're going to be choosing the UML class. Click the eye icon to make sure that this UML class diagram template can help you model your system's classes, attributes, operations, and a lot more. Click the this button right here, and you would be forwarded to the main dashboard where you have the diagram builder it takes a little while but from here you would notice that on the left side panel of your dashboard you have all these sections wherein you can generate everything uh here drag and drop you see that it's very easy so that's one way another option is we're going back again to the uh, home page all right we're gonna create something from scratch all right why because the template is kind of cluttered and we wanted to create a clean interface click the new button go to the blank document and we want to customize some elements i'm gonna rename this as this one again on the shapes button you might want to type in uml you see that you have an access to um, UML class diagram component and a lot more. All right. So type it in. Now we can manually deploy a UML node right here. Just one by one. All right. You can resize it. So I'm going to add um, an image here to make it uh, our diagram, Lucid uh, UML diagram a little bit um, interactive by adding an image. Once it's loaded, I'm going back again to the shapes right here. So, for example, this, I'm going to make it a little smaller. This one instance, kind of like a small ones. This one's right here. You also have the UML class diagram. You have all these options for you to drag and drop. You are not limited with the uh, tools. You can utilize and leverage all these. All right. You can also choose to use the UML use case right here. For example, this is going to be actor. Or in my case, this is going to be the plans. You have the option to customize this depending on your preferences. Maybe you are going to be choosing a different color. Maybe white. Or uh, what, yeah, white, white for now. Now, on the left side panel, let's click the uh, document settings wherein we might want to choose a different color for our background you can choose from any of the following all right depending on the color that best represents your logo your brand or identity in my case i'm going to be choosing the black all right and again just add uml shapes for example uml state activity here state name you can drag as many as you can so you're not kind of do not be afraid to put an experiment with data
UML component right here. Now, once you've finalized with it, you might want to connect all the data. How? Go again to the shapes. Now, what we're going to do is use this arrow right here. So we're going to choose a different color so, so that, that it's a lot easier for us to manage. Maybe something like light yellow, right? So just click the arrows right here. Press it like this. Add more arrows along the way to see the connection. For example, this is here. Click an arrow. This pointing to the uh, image right here. This is that. You see how you can connect the nodes, All right? Going here. Hey, come on, bro. All right. Add it here if you want. Connect all the dots. Now, after creating a UML, you might want to click the presentation mode here or the presentation builder. Especially helpful if you're going to show it to your architect or engineer or to your client. Click the add a new slide. So the marker is going to be this. Next slide is this one right here. For example, there's going to be our next slide. Click the present slides. Let's see what we got from here. This is particularly important. If you want to maybe um, show it to your client, to your boss. All right. And then click the escape button. Once you're happy with that, you might want to add in some comments right here. For example, this is for a client. Mention the name of your client or your engineer or architect. And then click the share button. If you wanted to share this to your to the engineer, architect, to your client, to the team members, you might want to add the name here or your listed groups. You can give them the access level of edit and share. Edit can comment only and view only. All right. Now, the other option is go to the file, click the uh, save button or control press the control plus S on your keyboard. Once it's automatically saved, you might want to export this and Download a copy as a backup data. You can use from any of the following. Save it as a PDF, a PNG, JPEG, and SVG. So you have all these options for you. All right. But I make sure you have you make a backup data. And the last option is going to be convert it to template. All right. Now select the category. Is it going to be a flow chart? Yes, of course it is. And of course the description is. Click disable and click on save. And basically, that's how you use Lucidchart to create a unified model language that you can use and share it to anyone else. Click on save. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.